Yo, fragrant men and beautiful goddesses. Welcome back to my channel, especially you, fragrant men. If you cannot afford right now to buy a bottle, a full bottle of the legendary, one of the best blue and freshy fragrance out there from the house of Chanel called Blue de Chanel, either EDT, EDP or Perfume, there is a solution. Because of these trying times, Armaf came up with Armaf Iconic Blue. I have to review this and I've got to review this. Stay tuned. Yo, my name is Red and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's do this. Today's fragrance review is this man, released 2022 from the house of Armaf. It is called Armaf Iconic Blue, 105 ml woody perfume. The writing is here, it says Club Tinui. The main accords for this fragrance are as follows. Citrus, woody, warm, spicy, amber, aromatic, fresh, spicy, green, fresh, balsamic, and powdery. Powdery again. My skin tends to make many perfumes quite powdery. But then it doesn't affect the scent DNA itself because sometimes when a perfume is really powdery on my skin, it doesn't mean it is sour or vinegary. So I'm okay with it. Now the top, mid, and base notes are as follows. On the top notes, there's grapefruit, lemon, mint, pink pepper, and coriander. On the middle notes, there are ginger, melon, nutmeg, and jasmine, while the base notes comprises of sandalwood, amber, incense, woody notes, cedar, patchouli, and labdanum. Amber and labdanum, two of my favorite notes, along with dark chocolate and coffee. The bottle and its cap on 105 ml woody perfume. The cap is really tight. A little snap there to tighten it. And I am lucky my bottle is really tight. My scent impressions from the top to the middle stage. Let's try it again. Evenly distributed, a little wide, but it works. Initially a strong blast of alcohol. And upon spraying this, aside from the alcohol, I can already smell the freshness. And this category of kind of like a blue fragrance has come out already in the air from my skin. The super fresh blast of grapefruit and then this soft lemon partnering with this full blast of grapefruit and then also with the support of the slightly minty accord and at the same time the aromatic component of pepper. The top is really blue, fresh, thick, deep and dense. Smells clean, smells aromatic and spicy. It is citrusy, slightly sweet, combined with just a perfect blend of zesty, it is juicy. It is a perfect opening for me when it comes to a freshy and a blue freshness and clean kind of fragrance. It reminded me of the Blue de Chanel, Eau de Toilette. It is also quite mentholated, which is good because I like the note of mint, eucalyptus, and menthol. These are wonderful spices that really adds a tasty flavor when it comes to fragrances. I like this combination of nutmeg, ginger, and coriander. Very mass appealing, head turner, kind of an opening, transitioning to the middle stage. So very aromatic with the spices coming from the pepper and coriander, and then soft bitterness coming from the ginger, coriander, and nutmeg, and then the sweetness of the fruits. I can smell the sweetness and the juiciness of the melon. I love this opening transitioning to the middle stage and I think I would love the middle stage as well. I think the middle stage is revealing a little bit of flowers that is the jasmine. But it is tamed, it is weak, it is just there to support those spices. Surprisingly also there is kind of like a smell of kind of like a vanillary and also smells like paper. So imagine if you have a book, a newly purchased book, you open it from the wrap and flipping the pages fast, the aroma of the paper itself, it reminded me of that kind of smell here at the top to middle stage. I don't know if there is papyrus here. The vanillary aspect of Iconic Blue also reminds me of Chanel's Allure Homme Sport. 
I don't have it anymore. I sold it years ago, although I still have this Chanel Allure Home Edition Blanche. So that is uh, a vintage version. The vanilla -ry of the Allure Home Sport is kind of like similar to the vanilla -ry aspect of the Allure Home Edition Blanche. It really feels amazing and awesomeness because for a bang for your buck kind of cologne from the House of Armagh, I am already enjoying the scent DNA of Blue de Chanel, Woody Toilet, and Woody Parfum, and then I am also enjoying some aspects of its sweetness and vanilla -y kind of vibe coming from the Allure Home Sport by Chanel and also Chanel's Allure Home Edition Blanche. Now by the mid-stage, the bitterness is slowly coming up, but pulling back immediately. So bitterness, I am guessing, is really coming from ginger, coriander, and nutmeg. This fragrance is not just fresh, blue, citrus, fruity, sweet, and spicy. It is also considered to be warm and at the same time creamy. Over the dry down, woodsy tone or accord is coming from cedar. There is no sourness. Sometimes I relate cedar to be a little bit sour, much like the, uh, the earthiness of vetiver. And I find a sandalwood to be quite creamy sometimes along with the note of leather. The dry down is kind of like soapy and sweet, warm, and there's this kind of like a balsamic tone into it. And I also like this because like there is this patchouli that is very, very soft, but it blends well with the amber, with the labdanum, warmth of those two, I think they are resins. And then the incense is very weak, very tame. It's just there just to back up, just to fortify the entire composition with a mild incense. What's the difference of Iconic Blue? In comparison with the Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum, it is the incense. The incense in Chanel's Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum it is much more revealing and it is much more thick. In Iconic Blue by Armaf, the incense here is really tame. Projection starts from the first 30 minutes and then same with the sand trail and then it even exceeds to like 45 minutes. And then the longevity is fantastic because this goes on the 8 hour margin on my skin and then kind of like a day on my clothes. It is really comforting and it gives me more confidence. For the occasions, definitely casual, date settings, after gym, after shower, work settings, informal, and also when you're partying and clubbing, wear this one. For my first time viewers and returning viewers, should you find this review of our Muff's iconic blue 105 ml Eau de Parfum quite interesting and quite helpful in your research when it comes to the smell DNA and performance of our Muff's iconic blue and also its comparisons with the legendary Chanel's Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum, kindly subscribe to my channel please and help me out and click the like button as well and my subscribe tab is just at the right hand corner below your screen truly super fresh and blue truly spicy warm and sweet truly a head turner and will get you many compliments your signature scent this is your daily driver this is your easy pickup fragrance from the house of armaf iconic blue 105 ml Udi parfum my name is red from my youtube channel let's do this